Hey guys, what's going on? It's Axiom 92 here, and today we're going to be playing What Remains of Edith Finch. It's one of the free games on PSN, um, and I thought I'd download it and give it a go, so let's get into it. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. And he's going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay. Oh, at least we can see legs. Got legs. Crouch. Oh, zoom. How do you crouch? Oh, the finches. Okay. Edith, Milton, Lewis, Sanjay, Don, Gus, Gregory, Kay, Sam, Walter, Calvin, Barbara, Molly. Eddie and Odin. Sven and is that Igerborg? Well, that's which way are we going that way? Let's run. Do we have a run? Nope. I lived here until I was eleven, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. No trespassing. The property is protected by video surveillance. Trespassers will be prosecuted. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Down here, or is it up there? Um, let's go with left. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Well, we seem to be going the right way. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. I enjoy playing games like this, like it's got a bit of mystery to it there. Milton Finch, missing. <clears throat> so she had a brother that's died and also a brother that's missing. Okay, and the mother's dead as well, so. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Here we go. Pretty cool house. Reminds me a little bit like the one out of... The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Out of um, Harry now, Potter? As a 17 year old. The Weasleys? I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. The key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Right. It's either going to be the back door or it's going to be a basement key. 
I like a mystery. Let's go for it. Uh, which way do we go? Right, okay. Clearly not that way. There's no sprint for some reason. There seem to be... Um, There isn't a sprint but a zoom. L1 and R1. L1 and L2 seem to zoom in. But. <clears throat> okay, let's try. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Oh, so she just crawled through the door. Okay, let's switch the line. turned off the night we left. Okay then. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. Oh, so we're in the kitchen. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Edith, Eddie, Dawn, and Lewis. Or is it Edith? Am I saying that wrong? It could be Edith, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Cool. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived oh, so is it is Edie. somewhere in the library. Sorry, I was calling it Eddie. My mistake. So it's Edie. Right. That was obviously the old lady, right? Okay. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh, so they don't even know if it's alive or not, right? Okay. <clears throat> right, let's have a look. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. I believe I said Eddie. Oh dear. Misread it. Hmm. Curious to know what actually happened now. Let's 
Um, let's Mine just get the basement out of the way. The basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Right, we've got to now, so we'll nip upstairs. After Melton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Wow, they're all dead. Wow. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Is Keith fit in any of these now? Okay then. Man, this family like to read. Edie's father Odin built the original house. Barbara. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. She's not really helped you out here, this mother of yours, has she? If you one key, that doesn't open any doors. Go in there in a minute. Let's have a look at this one. Molly. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Okay then. And I'm assuming I this is. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. 20,000 leaves under the sea. Okay. Alright, so we're in... Secret little room. The paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <sighs> Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it.
So I'm, I must be Molly now. I kept eating and eating. I ate a lot of things that night. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. Okay then. Was really scared. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. This is weird. I jumped and I almost got her. She was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, okay then. choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. What? This game is weird. into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever.
juicy seals. See anything? Oh, there we go. Oh god, where's he gone? Nice snake now. Now I was a monster and I smelled people up. I was big and I moved real quiet. Something I had to have. 
so I swam towards it. Okay, this is a weird game. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Closer and closer. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time. Okay then. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. Ingeborg, okay. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Okay then. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Even in her 90s, Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother.
The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again, and he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. said that.
maybe if the wind hadn't picked up, then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Okay, that wasn't weird. No. <clears throat> okay, Calvin. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Okay then. That's Calvin done. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. thought of Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just a boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. 
Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Really? They got the Halloween theme song going? Cool. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Wonderful. trying to scare you to help you find your screen. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and She threw him out, but she kept the little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> She 
listened for his breathing, but all he heard was... This is pretty interesting, this game. It's coming from inside the house. they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared in the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box, is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> <laughs> told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Anything else in here before I leave? So if I turn... I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. So yeah, so if we go in the music... Oh, here we go. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Let's try the music box again then. <laughs> 